What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> it's 12 May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? Of all the planets in the galaxy, they chose ours. This phone is dead. What? Getting bigger! <laughs> Critters. <laughs> Critters was released on April 11, 1986, and today marks the 35th anniversary. So let's see if it holds up or not. So this is like episode 13 or something. Not keeping track of anything. Now I've always heard of this franchise, but I've never watched them. I've heard some great things about them, or maybe not great things, but some good things, and then a lot of bad. I don't know what to expect when I'm watching this. Like the poster looks fun. Both the posters. I think I'm gonna use the alternate poster thing because the original is the whole Critters, but then the other one is family, alien people who I do love in this movie. I don't think this film is even regarded as like that of all time i think it's just good we're either right in the middle not at all bad or anything it's not amazing it doesn't do anything new or anything it's just you know it's under like 80 minutes thing but it's like exactly 80 minutes it's short you're in there for a bit and then you come out and that's the perfect run time so movie knows what it's doing it's all about the critters little thing eating people that's the whole thing and kind of building like the whole mythology around it as well up in space and then coming down on earth so i do like that aspect the whole family part give or take honestly you know the son you know him playing with fireworks and explosions comes back around which i do like but i don't know uh, i just maybe that's just me who knows we got the family, but I will be mainly talking about son because the daughter's off with her boyfriend, her boyfriend the kill, shocker, parents are being parents. So you got the family slash son part. You have the critters part. You have the townspeople, and then you have the other alien who dresses up as human beings. They don't show the true form, which by the way, they just have green like green screen mask over their head. By the way, I was like, wait, is that a green green mask? And I probably should have looked that up, but it looks like a green screen goddamn mask. But either way, let's talk about the townspeople. Well, I guess town slash Charlie. So Charlie is this friend who is how should I say this? Hold on, Bush? No, I don't know. Whatever. He's not in the right state of mind for his age right playing with his little boy and oh ugh, that didn't sound good either but either way he goes around finds an alien ship on earth and just goes tell the townspeople like hey you know aliens here because you know everyone knows him as that guy everyone just brushes him off we meet the lady and something is she a lawyer or something kind of important she like calls the policeman and they go to like towns and diners if the alien get there and then charlie got around near the end to ask them about advice stuff but the townspeople are simply there for the reaction part right they're kind of i guess the audience they're kind of like what the hell going on these weird aliens going to churches and blowing up churches and looking to, to kill the critters or the crits as they call them so you got that going on and then i guess i'll talk about the family so you got two parents meet the daughter's boyfriend and that's an awkward dinner scene it's like oh no this is gonna turn into rom commy but it's not daughter brings home her boyfriend it goes all right she hates her little brother keeps like shooting her with something with these rocks or something and then the son likes playing with fireworks and explosions and i do like how that comes back around being like hey his love for this come back around and defeating the spaceship critters but then not knowing that hey something's gonna explode and explodes to the end but aside from that again it's just an okay family like i don't really attach myself to any of them because because one, the mood doesn't have enough time. It's like just slightly over 80 minutes. So like, listen, just set up these characters. They're just a normal family living in like some land or whatever. And they're normal. Siblings hate each other, but not hate each other. But you know, they mess with each other, stuff like that. And so the family's just, again, kind of there. And then the two other alien from the outer space or whatever. These two are like the best part of the film. Like I said earlier, they're like green screen face max and their leader alien or something. Like, look at these critters, get rid of them. They've taken one of their ships and they go to Earth. They like start falling down. Think, hold on, there's a critter? I forgot which one creates a meteor. Was it the critters or these aliens? I think it was the critters right it was the critters i'm just gonna assume they go around and diners and start messing with people or i don't know i wouldn't say messing with people but they want to ask them hey where are the critters at where are the crits at any normal human they want to fight them because they don't know that they're aliens but He's eating the one in their shit, and it's just a fun time. They're their best parts. It's like a fish out of water, but the humans just kind of like, what the heck? And it's just a lot of fun them figuring out these strong ass people. And then the critters. Now, I do like the look of them. They're just furry furballs that like roll really fast and can shoot dark hairs and bite you really fast and eat your blood and, and eat you. I do like that part. Them having their own language and talking was funny for the first time, but then when I got old, I was like, oh no. If I'd ever decide to watch this series for like 31 days of horror, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough. They're gonna have this language talk and it's gonna be kind of played over. I'm assuming there's gonna be one movie where they're like talking about the whole movie like i'm looking forward to that but for this film it worked the film also credits practical effects and i didn't notice any of them because I, again i was watching this when i was sleeping another one of those situations most of them look pretty decent not amazing but <laughs> It looked decent. Whenever like they were biting like the father multiple times, I was like, he's dead. No, he's not dead. Okay. When one of them get the daughter's boyfriend, it looked pretty damn cool. And I honestly, so here's the thing. I thought it was gonna be one greater, but no, there's like three or four. Like that's kind of creepy. Uh, like I was never creeped out in this film, but it was just cool seeing them. But the one time I was creeped out, it was like during that bar scene. Like oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh, hold on. How can I forget? There's that one that is in the toilet, right? When you know those two alien arrive, and then one of them trying to get you know out from the toilet. That was a hilarious guy. Pretty funny. Don't know how to use the toilet. Bam, just blasts them. And how they even find the place where the family's 
house as the boy is let go to go get help from the cop from the townspeople and they're not gonna help they're useless so he runs into consequently to the alien people he's like hey get us there he recognizes it's probably first but it's the alien and i do like this whole team up thing hey you do something for me i'll do something for you and then they go to the house they just blast the house by the way they just property damage all over the place just with everything the two aliens eventually get rid of everything but except for i think one or two except for one or two i think that's when the sun comes in with his own firework glove and that's when the whole British ship blows up and for the sun helping the aliens they give him this device cool that's a gift from an alien from extraterrestrial you know things that's a cool gift and i thought it wouldn't come back till the very end where they decided to fix the house this whole device alien thing fix this house itself and i thought the house would be in ruins for like third of the film till it just ends but no they actually fix the house top guy comes by not helping anything he's useless the whole town is useless until like them calling on you know what's going on with the whole two alien stuff and blasting buildings and stuff but then wait there's more there's critters eggs so these are just came down to earth plan to just create chaos and lay their eggs for you know invade earth essentially which is cool tease and end but i don't know i would have liked the definitive end and then that's how the movie ends so this movie's not bad right there's a lot of things in this movie that i just don't care about except for the two aliens stuff and critter stuff and sort of the cool moments in between characters aside from that the film's like good you know it's good it's a fun 80 minute monster play in a way or a little monster play that's just entertaining and that's the best thing i can say about the first critters movie so critters 1986 35 years later still holds up and it's pretty good okay maybe not pretty good but it's still good and entertaining that's what i'll say but i didn't love it so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching